Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to view your shared folders on your local computer and also on remote computers. And these are folders that you've shared and then also the Windows um, administrative shares which are shared by default. Those are the you know, C dollar sign shared folders that you might have seen before. So there's various ways you could do this. So we're going to show you a few different methods using you know, Command Prompt, PowerShell, uh, File Explorer, Computer Management, that kind of thing. All right, so we have this Windows 11 computer and we also have a Windows 10 computer on the same network that has some shares on it. So this one has shared folders and the Windows 10 computer has shared folders. So first we're going to go over some ways to view the shared folders on this computer. So uh, one way we're going to do with PowerShell. And I always like to run PowerShell as administrator just to avoid problems. Okay, so first one is, I'll put these in the description by the way, this get WMI object. So we'll paste this in here. So this is showing the shared folders on this computer. So you can see the uh, administrative shares right here. These other shared folders that we have, we have printer, uh, bah, 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 the users, that kind of thing. Okay, and then we have this more basic uh, command here. which will give you the same results. So you could use either one. There's also other uh, switches you could add to these to do different kinds of options listed differently and that kind of thing, but these are the basic commands. Okay, so now command prompt, we're gonna do the same thing. Well, not the same thing, but we're gonna run a command on the command prompt, and that is just the simple net share command here. And you can see gives you the same kind of results as this uh, PowerShell command gave you. Okay. And then also computer management. Uh, so if you want the GUI way, you could do that. So you just type in computer, ma computer management and run that. And then you'll have a shared folders section here. And you just go to shares. And you can see all your shared folders here as well. And then you could also edit you know, stop sharing, open and change the sharing permissions and that kind of thing. And then there's also a sessions section here. So if people are connected to your shared folder, you can see a session there. So let me uh, pause the video and I'll see if I could connect something. We'll see if it shows up there. Okay, so I went on the other computer and I opened a uh, file from this, one of the shares here. So you can see that it shows that uh, the computer name, which is the Windows 10 computer, how long it's been connected, and if we go to open files, it shows the connections here. And then I could close the session if I want to disconnect that user from uh, looking at this file in this folder here. Okay, so that's how you would check your uh, local shares on your computer that you just happen to be working on. So now we have remote shares. So uh, this way, the easiest way to do it is just using command prompt. There are some PowerShell methods, but they seem to be a little iffy because you have to make sure your permissions and firewall rules and all that other stuff are set up properly. But this way seems to work the best um, just to get around all that stuff. So I'll copy this. Go back to our command prompt here. Let's clear the screen. Paste this in here. So now well, I need to change the name, of course. You can't just leave a computer name. So now we're going to look over to the Windows 10 computer here and look at the shares on this remote computer. So you can see we have these administrative shares, shared printer, uh, sales files, and so on. So that's showing the shared folders on the remote computer. So that's pretty basic. If you want to just get a listing of what your other computers on the network are sharing. So just, you know, make sure you change the... Uh, command here to the computer name of that other computer. And then of course you could just do the file explorer method which is simple if you want the GUI way. So just type in slash slash computer name and then you'll see all the uh, shares as well and then you could just open them and map drives and that kind of thing. Okay so going back to computer management real quick. If you were on a domain as a domain administrator, you could also right-click on this computer management, connect to another computer, 
type in the name of that remote computer, click OK, and then you'll have the same tools. But one thing you'll notice when you try and go to shared folders, for example, and this applies to other things like device manager and so on, it says you do not have permissions. So I've tried various ways playing with the firewall, running it as different users, and still can't seem to get into it because this is a work group setup, so this is not a domain. Because if you're on a domain with the uh, domain admin, then you're also the local admin on all your computers that are on the domain. But that's not the case for a work group. So it's just a weird thing with, you know, having user accounts on both computers that match up and all that other good stuff. So I suppose if you had matching user accounts, which I doubt here, it might be a little easier. But this way is a little more difficult. So you're kind of, you know, can't really use that unless you have the right configuration. All right. So anyway, so like I said, there's local shares, we could use PowerShell, command prompt, computer management, the remote remote shares, we could use the net view, and just from good old file explorer, which is super easy to use. So I'll put this in the uh, notes and you could uh, try it out for yourself and see what you could do. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.